Hello, and welcome to the Cardiology Podcast, why we do what we do in cardiology. In this audio series, we will discuss the practice changing articles in cardiology from the past to the present. This is your episode for today. In this episode, I will discuss the findings of the Lodestar trial titled, Treat to Target or High Intensity Statin in Patients with Coronary Artery Disease, a Randomized Clinical Trial. This was published in the Journal of American Medical Association, JAMA, on March 6, 2023, by a group of South Korean authors. This randomized non-inferiority trial aimed to compare the efficacy of treating patients with coronary artery disease to achieve a low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, LDLC, level between 50 and 70 mg per deciliter, treat-to-target strategy, versus a strategy using high-intensity statin therapy. The study included 4,400 patients and found that the three-year composite of all-cause death, myocardial infarction, stroke, or any coronary revascularization was 8.1% in the treat-to-target group and 8.7% in the high-intensity statin group. Importantly, the difference met the pre-specified non-inferiority margin of 3.0 percentage points. This suggests that the treat-to-target LDLC strategy was non-inferior to high-intensity statin therapy for major clinical outcomes among patients with coronary artery disease. The trial enrolled patients with a coronary disease diagnosis and was conducted at 12 centers in South Korea from September 9, 2016, through November 27, 2019, with a final follow-up on October 26, 2022. Patients were randomly assigned to either the LDLC target strategy, 50 to 70 mg DL, or high-intensity statin treatment involving rosuvastatin, 20 mg, or atorvastatin, 40 mg. The primary endpoint was the three-year composite of death, myocardial infarction, stroke, or coronary revascularization, with a non-inferiority margin of 3.0 percentage points. Among the 4,400 patients, 4341, 98.7%, completed the trial, with a mean age of 65.1 years and 27.9% females. In the treat-to-target group, both moderate-intensity and high-intensity dosing were used in 43% and 54%, respectively. The LDLC levels for three years were similar between the treat-to-target and high-intensity statin groups. The primary endpoint occurred in 8.1% of the treat-to-target group and 8.7% of the high-intensity statin group, meeting the non-inferiority criteria. A secondary analysis of the same trial published in the British Medical Journal on 18 October 2023 showed that rosuvastatin was more effective in LDL cholesterol lowering but had a higher onset of diabetes and cataracts. In conclusion, the study supports the non-inferiority of the treat-to-target LDLC strategy, 50 to 70 mg DL, compared to high-intensity statin therapy for the three-year composite of major clinical outcomes in patients with coronary artery disease. This suggests that a treat-to-target approach may be a suitable alternative, allowing for a tailored approach considering individual variability in drug response to statin therapy. More new-onset diabetes and cataracts in the rosuvastatin arm need to be interpreted with caution due to the secondary nature of the analysis. Thank you for listening to this podcast, Why We Do What We Do in Cardiology. The information in this podcast is for general information only for medical professionals and is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice from a qualified healthcare professional. We hope you found this information helpful, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode.